Hey Leoko Warriors, it's Kevin here for you for another Kolioko episode review. This is going to be episode season 2, episode 1, titled New Order. Finally on season 2. Let's get it. So, the episode starts off with the new opening. Obviously, we get Moonscape. I don't know what Moonscape is. I guess it's a new animation studio. I, I don't know. But the new opening is pretty nice. It's the exact same music from the first opening. I mean, from the first season's opening. But the visuals are the same. It's those clips from the season and from last season. But it's like a like, <clears throat> it's like that swirl effect all around, which is pretty cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It was more stupid in that section, but it does that sort of swirl effect all around. It was more kind of stupid as that section. <laughs> anyway, right after that, we get the new title card, obviously. It looks the exact same, just a bit more, a bit better, a bit more animated. So, ooh, my bad. Oh, <laughs> the computer almost fell. So, the episode begins off with Odd and Orc racing in the desert sector. But no, 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 they're not on foot. We got vehicles. Odd is on the overboard, which is just a hoverboard. We don't get a name for orange vehicle. It's a one-wheeled motorcycle, but I think it's called the overbike, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I'm not mistaken. I think it's called the overbike. <clears throat> and this is Odd and Orc racing in the desert sector. We get to see Orc's new vehicle with the one wheel, which is pretty cool. It can go decently fast. And then we see Odd right behind him because they're racing, and he has the overboard, well, basically a hoverboard. And they're thanking Jeremy for the new vehicles and that Xanus will be in trouble. Like, he's a watch out. Jeremy is telling them to be careful because he hasn't worked out all the kinks yet in these new vehicles. Yeah, you're such a warrior word, Jeremy. So, Odd and Orc get into the little gorge section. And they're starting to race. And Odd gets a tiny bit close to Orc. And he rips up his engine hard. Like, he starts to, yeah, he starts to zoom. Then eventually, um, mm, my bad. I almost coughed it. Eventually, uh, they get to the little section where they have to grind on top of a rock to get up to the next platform. And uh, when Odd does it, he hits another rock and he falls. <laughs> he falls off his overbike. I mean, he's overboard. And Orc, he lands it. <laughs> he sticks to landing pretty easily. Not too savvy. We get to see Yumi's new vehicle called the Overwing. It's a pretty cool name. And Alita's up there too. It's sort of like Odd's vehicle that can hover. But it's a bit bigger. Two people can fit on it. And it has a little handlebar right there. So it's a pretty nice vehicle that she has. Right after that, Jeremy tells them to be careful. There's a new mon Well, there's a monster coming for them. But it's a new one. He can't tell what this is. And then the monster shows up. And they call it the Tarantula. Well, Odd calls it the Tarantula. That's what, that's what he calls it. And then we get to see the new monster. And this is what the monster looks like. <laughs> oh, I gotta keep turning my camera. This is a lot. The tarantula it packs a punch. So right after this, Jeremy tells Alita to run to the nearest deactivated tower. That's only like maybe like 10, 20 feet away from them. And I really, I really like this next scene that comes up. So all the orc and Yumi all stand next to each other, and then Yumi goes, "I'll, I'll take the first fight. I mean, I'll take the first hit." Uh, sorry, Yumi, I'll take the first hit. Odd, I'll keep it distracted. Orc, okay, on my signal. Like, I, like, they're in sync. They've been doing this for so long. They're in sync, and they know what to do. Like, they didn't know, they're on that Wi-Fi. Like, you know, they, they just know each other. I, I like that. I love that scene. I really love it. So, they start to fight it. And this monster packs a punk. A, a punk. Packs a punch. Odd, he runs up some rocks, and the monster suits the rocks that he's on. He falls off the rocks, and then the monster's able to suit Odd in the chest. And Jeremy says that one shot took out 20 life points. This thing is packing some firepower it's packing some heat <laughs> i think it's packing some heat man <laughs> uh right after that Oric starts to block some of his lasers because he's shooting at Oric now and he looks at alita while she's running to the tower and while he's looking obviously he can't see this way so a few socks hit him then he gets devirtualized yumi does a few flips throws his fan i mean throws her fan at it and misses she gets shot she gets devirtualized but as soon as he gets back on her vehicle too August on his vehicle starts to spin around, starts to shoot his lasers like crazy. Then he gets to virtualize. Then it does a winning roar. That one monster took out all three of them. I was devastated as a kid. I was like, this is wild. Oh, like one monster took them all down? This is crazy. I'm like, Yo, this is crazy. Oh my goodness. I, I, I was sook. I mean, I was sook, man. 
But after that, they all started talking about what they should do now because, you know, this new monster is here now and it seems like Xana is starting to um, not, like, upgrade himself. Like, he's starting to get more powerful now. Like, he's starting, he's evolving. So they need to be prepared for anything. And while they're all talking, we get to see Alita's new outfit for this season. And I really like this outfit. We get the two little pink puffs. She has a pink hoodie on and then she has some, um, well, it's like a darker reddish type of color on top, well, overalls on top of it. Which is pretty nice. Like that, that's a pretty nice outfit. I really like this outfit 10, 100 times better. My bad, I moved the mic a little bit. I love this outfit 100 times better than the outfit that she had on for the last two episodes in season one. That, that outfit sucked. This outfit is nice. And then they tell Alita the good news. So, Jeremy says that he made a new program called the Super Scanner that can detect activated towers on Lyoko. So, Alita doesn't have to be on Lyoko 24 7 to you know, detect the activated tower like the Posations. She doesn't have to do that no more. And they fully enrolled Alita into Kattegat Academy. So now she can live there. She has her own dorm room. Two great news in one day. So they're obviously secretly really happy. She can stay on Earth. She, she can stay on Earth full time and live with them. And she doesn't have to stay on Yoko because now they have the super calculator. I mean the super scanner. So we all gooksy. <laughs> we all good, baby. We're all good. Then we cut to Jim sewing her her new room, telling her the rules of the school. And then she says, well, your friends here can tell you the rest of the rules if they can remember them. And once he does that, I mean, when he does that, he cuts through them and they're smiling. <laughs> I really love that scene when they're smiling. And then Alita tells Jim that her name is Alita Stones. She's Otis' cousin and she's from Canada. That is funny. The first, the second to last episode, Yumi says, oh yeah, she's from Dutch. Then Otis says she's from, no, 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 sorry. Yumi says she's from Japan to her parents. Then with the principal, I says she's from Dutch. Now she's from Canada. But, you know, they use the reverse time thing so they don't remember those first two <laughs> incidents. So, but for the rest of the series, I think they do stick with she's Otis' cousin. <clears throat> they, they stick with she's Otis' cousin because they, they said it all three times. And this time, they stick with Canada. They just stick with Canada for the rest of the series. <laughs> because they switched it up three different times. So I'll be like, come on now. <laughs> what are you doing? So like I said, when he says, your, your friends can tell you the rest, if they can remember them, they, they just start to... I love that scene. That, that, that is so nice. I wish I could make that. The, if I can make that a thumbnail, I'll make that the thumbnail. If I can find it. If not, I'll give it my normal thumbnails. Anyway, it's hard to talking to the fast. This is my third time doing this. It keeps cutting me off. Um... We cut to Odd, Jeremy, and Alita, and there's a field trip going on. The 7th and 8th grade are going to go into the forest, take pictures, and draw different types of flowers. Jeremy tells Alita they've been partnering up with each other. They're not too mad about that. Odd asks Alita, where's Oric? And we cut to Oric trying to hype himself up to tell Yumi how she feels. Eventually, Yumi catches him. He's like, oh, hey, Yumi, I need to tell you something. Then she says, hey, William, have you met my friend Oric? And then we cut, and there's this new guy at the school. And the only reason he's at this school is because he got kicked out of his last school. <laughs> not, <laughs> not the student of the month. <laughs> and then we, we get to meet William. We'll see him a lot through the rest of the series. A lot. In good and bad ways. <laughs> we'll see this man in good ways and bad ways for the rest of the series. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Then Yumi goes, oh, my bad, Oric. Do you need to tell me something? He says, I'll tell you later. And then we cut to everybody walking into the forest so they can do their projects. Then we get this one little scene where Sissy, he walks into the city to go to some stores because he doesn't want to do the project. So they're not going to get too, too, too good of a grade. Right after that, we cut to Alita and Jeremy talking. And he says that he doesn't really believe in like monsters in the real world, like any type of monsters in the real world, like fantasy, the fairy tales or whatever. He doesn't believe it. And then he starts to feel his bag. He's like, oh no, I left my computer at school. This is bad. What if Xena attacks? He says, well, we already took a ton of pictures and drew a ton of flowers. We got a good grade. You go, you go ahead and get your computer. He's like, are you sure? Yeah, I'll wait here. And then Jeremy leaves. I probably would have took Alita with me. I don't think I would have left her in the forest, but hey, it's whatever. Anyway, so she leaves them, and while they're talking, we get this nice frame of Alita, where they animated her pretty nicely. Look at this. Boom. That, 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 that is nice. That, that is nice. That is nice. It's paused. <laughs> the good, the, the, I paused it. It's not free frames or nothing. I just paused it. <laughs> I just paused it. <laughs> right after that, Orc and Odd, well, Orc is spying on Yumi and William. Um, Odd is just playing with Kiwi. 
And then I goes, calm down, man. What are you doing? <laughs> like, no, he like, calm down. Don't you worry. You mean he's crazy about you, isn't he? Well, that's what you think. Oh, I don't get you two. Do you like each other or do you not? It's it's complicated. <laughs> it's complicated. And then we cut to um, we uh, my bad. We cut to Yumi and William. They're just talking about um how he got kicked out of his last school for putting up posters. William says he go when he falls in love he goes crazy. He blushed like they have like a little moment. Then we cut to Alita and she's not doing so good. She's starting to hear a ton of different animals in the forest and she's trying to say what Jimmy was saying about how monsters get some fairy tales that are real. Then her head starts to hurt and she's holding it. Then she gets flashes of a wolf and she gets scared as she runs deeper into the forest. And then we cut to Xana activating a tower with two tarantulas. Then we cut back to Odd, Org, and Jeremy. We cut to Jeremy first where as soon as he gets into his classroom, as soon as he gets to his room, his computer turns on and there's an activated tower. So he calls up Jeremy, I mean he calls up Odd and Orc. He tells him there's an activated tower. You need to go grab Alita. She's in the forest. Left her on the red trail. We need to tell Yumi too. Or it goes, you tell Yumi. I mean, you call Yumi and tell her about the tower. We'll get Alita. Okay. Break. That's the plan. <laughs> so, like I, so just like Oric says, Jeremy calls Yumi. She says, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go. Or, I mean, sorry, William gets up. He's like, okay, Yumi, you ready to, you know, do this project? Yumi? Yumi? <laughs> you like looking around for Yumi. We cut to Alita. A lot of cuts in this episode. We cut to Alita. And she goes to an old house called the Hermitage. And she walks inside of it. Right after that, we cut again to Odd and Oric meeting up with Yumi. And then they cut one more time. Oh, yeah, sorry. Forget. When they meet up with Yumi, they don't see Alita on the red trail, like Jeremy said. But when Alita started running away, she dropped her notebook with all the flower pictures in it. And Kiwi starts to sniff it. Then, he, you know, he picks up Alita's scent and he starts walking. I'm like, okay, well, I guess we'll follow Kiwi. Then we cut to Alita walking into the old abandoned house called the Hermitage. And when she walks into a room, we see that sort of ooh, gooky, that, like that sort of ooze, that Xana ooze. Xana ooze. Boom. We see that Xana ooze following Alita. And she walks into a room and then she starts to hold her head again and then she gets a flash. And then she sees a man playing the piano. She's like, huh? And then she, then she gets a few more flashes, and then we cut to Jeremy. <coughs> and this is what the man looks like that she sees playing the piano. But she doesn't really know who this guy is just yet, because she's like sort of getting her memories back in order somewhat, because she's getting flashes. But this is what the man looks like. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to do that. We cut to Jeremy on the phone with Odd, and he's spazzing. Like, where's Alita? What do you mean you didn't find it? She could be a danger. Calm down, Einstein. Kiwi sniffed her to this house. We're going to look inside this house real quick. Okay, but hurry. All right. <laughs> like, jeez. All right, well, we got her. <laughs> we'll find her. <laughs> so they walk into the house, and as soon as they walk into the house, they instantly detect, like, yeah, Xana's in this house. Why? Because it's only, as soon as they walk through the door, the door shuts and it locks. And then, I don't know where a dresser just slides down the hallway, and they have to dodge it. Then some spoon, knives, and forks fly at them. They're like, yeah, Alita must be in this house because Xana's controlling this house because, you know, lamps doesn't just start floating and start attacking us, you know? Like, what the heck is going on in this house? So they start to walk around some different rooms. They finally get to a room where Alita's passed out in. They pick Alita up, and she says it's a trap. The door slams shut, but before it slams shut, sorry, I said it slams shut. It, it slams shut. Before it slams shut, <laughs> it was going to slam shut, but Odd, he gets in the way, and he's holding it back, just barely. <clears throat> Alita crawls on the Odd and gets out the room. Yumi tries to, but Odd, he can't hold it no more, and he lets it go, so Yumi jumps back. So now Oric and Yumi are trapped in the room, and it starts to get hotter and hotter. They try to open the door, but they can't, and Odd is starting to freak out that they're going to get bored alive. Oric says the only thing you can do for us now is go to the factory and deactivate the tower. So that's what they do. I don't know what this room is supposed to be inside of a house. I was thinking a sauna, but it's not. It doesn't look like a normal sauna type of extent. Like you, when you watch any type of movie or animated show, <clears throat> a sauna looks the same. This doesn't look like a sauna, but it's like a built-in bench in this room that they sit on. So I don't know what this room is supposed to be. I honestly don't know. I'm, I honestly don't know what this room is supposed to be. <clears throat> anyway. Odd and Alita go to the back door, but it's locked too. 
then a dresser tries to hit them, and Odd, like, jumps over it, but in a cool way. <laughs> he jumps over the dresser, but in a cool way. Look at this. Boom. That, that was pretty cool. That, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I'm going to to myself. But that dresser knocks down the door. Like, it busts open the doors, so and now they can walk outside. <clears throat> and then for the rest of this episode, we keep cutting back and forth from um, Yumi and Oric to Lyoko. And the Yumi and Oric stuff is just them getting hotter and hotter. They start to take off the jacket in their shirts. It's a kid, so calm down. So Yumi see us on a tank top. Well, Oric's a dude, so, you know, Oric just has his bare chest out. He's a dude. So um, so for the rest of this episode, until they do reverse, for, until they do return to the past, it's just them getting hotter and hotter. Yumi says he sort of told Oric about William sooner. Oric asks, what's the thing going on between you two? She says, nothing. We're just friends. They pass out because it's getting so hot. And then, boom. It goes to return to the past. That's all we get from them, really. So, let me say the rest of the stuff. So, we cut to Odd and Alita. They are outside of the house. And Odd's like, come on, we gotta go to the factory. Alita turns and looks at a door on the side of the house. And she gets another vision that a man, that same man playing the piano and a little girl with pink hair walked into it and it leads to the sewers. And she tells Odd this. Odd said, there's no time for jokes. I'm not joking. So they go to the door, they open it, and hey, just, <laughs> just like Alita said, it leads to the sewers. I was like, wow, that's crazy. They get to the factory, they go to Lyoko, and this is cool transition where we see underneath the digital C, and then it transition above it, which is pretty cool. I mean, that, that was a pretty cool scene. <clears throat> look at this see look we see the digital C then it transitions up and then we see them going which is pretty cool so they finally get like a couple feet away from the tower and they can see that you know there's two tarantulas guarding it and all, just like I said Otto's like I can't take on two of those things it's like one of those things took out all of us it's like what am I supposed to do Alita goes I got a plan just trust me and she looks at Otto and Otto goes ah their faces yo they look so nasty I'm like, look at it. <laughs> look at it. I'm like, what's going on? I let us see as a plan. Look at this. <laughs> Jeffrey's like, what are y'all talking about? That look, that looks so weird. So the very next scene, we see Alita on the over, the over wing, and she flies past both tarantulas. She's like, hey, come this way. One of them stays, and then one of them leaves. But when she like waves by, it, it was it was a kind of cute scene. Look, she like flies past them both. She's like, hey, you miss me? And winks, and then one of them leaves to go after our leader. One of them stays. I'll keep doing this because look, it, <laughs> it tries to walk on two legs for two seconds, and then it falls. <laughs> it kind of looked ridiculous trying to walk on two legs, and then it just fell over. That, that was pretty funny. So uh, you just saw it was shooting at Alita. One of his blasts hits the overwing, and it devirtualizes, and she falls. And Alita runs over to the eggs of the ice, and it's the digital sea. So she just stops and holds her hands up. Is going to shoot Alita, but then Odd comes out of nowhere on his over wing, sorry, over hoverboard. I'm going to say hoverboard. Over, over, it's going to confuse me. He pops out of nowhere on his hoverboard and sucks it and kills it. He's like, hey, these things aren't too tough. But he's like, what the heck? Jeremy, I'm out of arrows. Don't worry, don't worry, I got you. <laughs> so, from this screenshot, it looks like Odd just got a thousand, <laughs> a thousand bullets. Like, no joke. It honestly looks like Odd just got a thousand bullets, which is pretty crazy if I do say so myself. Like, come on, man. He, he needs that many? I mean, <laughs> just for one thing? I mean, he starts to suit it like crazy, so I'm guessing. One, ten, hundred, thousand. A uh, ten thousand? Look at that. It looks like ten thousand bullets. That's crazy. That is crazy. Well, laser arrows. Laser arrows. That is crazy. So, the rest of this little thing is odd. He just flies down at the thing. I mean, he flies down at the tarantula and starts to shoot it like crazy as much as he can. And then he doesn't kill it. Alita's able to go inside the tower and he doesn't kill this one tarantula. He just keeps on shooting it. But, you know, he holds it out long enough for her to do cold Lyoko. Eventually, we go back to the day before. Sissy gets a zero <laughs> because they have like some sort of exotic flower they drew that they found inside of the mall. Obviously, that doesn't exist in the forest, that exotic flower. And she knows that she went to the stores. So, Mr. Hertz is like, yeah, zero. <laughs> she just gives Sissy a zero, which is pretty funny. Um, everybody else meet up with each other. Jeremy gives Alita a phone for a gift. So, now she has her own phone. She's like her, you know, her own little teenager now on Earth. She's just like everybody else. 
And it's funny because he puts the phone in a box, like a present, and she has to unwrap it. And when she's unwrapping it, everybody looks down at him like, what is it? <laughs> Look at his screen. <laughs> Look at his screen cap, bro. <laughs> this looks so funny, man. This one screen cap. They're all just looking down like, hey, what you got? <laughs> that screen cap is so funny to me. I, I, just, I just love that screen cap. That is so funny to me. And she thanks her for the thing too. And obviously that like, well, we have some more mysteries to unsolve because we have that new abandoned house, the Hermitage, and Alita knew some stuff about it. So that's a new mystery to solve. Well, I guess let's do it. And then we get the new credits for this uh, for this uh, season where we just, this is the new credits. So it's just like, it's really interesting. It just starts to yell like, hey, yeah. <laughs> it's just it's like rock music and yelling and we see all this like fbi information of that dude it's like it's like really trying to moonscape it's like really trying to make you hype confident like you know like like you like 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 just seeing it like you're like what is going on like it's all this young and screaming fbi type of music going up or fbi type of like information in a folder you just seeing all this stuff like all the mystery like they really try to make this new season a big mystery type of thing. Like it's like a really big mystery type of thing. And you feel it. Like like, I, like you feel it every time you watch. It. Like you feel it, man. But uh, I'm sorry for rushing through. This is my third time recording it. It kept cutting me off exactly at 22 seconds. And you know, usually I can go to like 30 minutes. I don't know what's going on with my stories. But hey, I was able to condense it so I can get everything in there. But I thank you all for watching. I thank you all out there for being wonderful and beautiful and handsome human beings. First Coleo episode where I sound nice. <laughs> where I sound pretty nice in the mic, so that's not too bad. I want to make sure I didn't forget nothing at the end because I was rushing through it a little bit. Oh, 20 on. Oh, that's finna cut me off. But yeah, she doesn't get a zero. Goes with the phone. She says by the William. Um, the Hermitage. Okay, yeah, we got everything. Okay, I, I was thinking I forgot something. Whew. Okay, oh yeah, it was one little joke where, um, uh, says, well, the return to the past didn't really fix everything. Or you're still kind of soaking over uh, Yumi and William talking. <laughs> Which is really funny. <laughs> that was funny. Whew. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Oh, now this one to cut me off. As soon as it hit 22 seconds, it cut me off before. I could be thinking.